George Franklin, centre midfield. My name is Joshua Johnson. I play centre midfield. Ibrahim Sanko, right back. Um, I actually came into Oxford as a winger. Did you? Believe it or not, yeah. So right midfielder, had a bit of pace about me. But then I think as I got older, I grew. I was quite a, was quite a big lad when I was younger. And I moved into centre half. And then just about two years ago, maybe, that's when I moved into centre mid. Yeah, just enjoying it at the moment. Yeah, I like that position. Oh, I, see. I can play like most positions. But like, third position is centre mid. Where did you start out as a kid? Uh, centre from what? Yeah. Uh, who for? Um, I used to play for Brentford. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. So then how did you get the move Brentford to Oxford? How did that happen? And then I was at, after Brentford closed down, I went to Fulham. And then after like, after a couple years at Fulham, I started like, not to enjoy it really. Then I decided to move. It, football's a hard game, isn't it? Sometimes people just fall out of love with the game. Did that happen to you? I wasn't, I wouldn't say fall out of love, but like, wasn't, yeah, maybe that. I wasn't enjoying that as much. So I decided to go and move, leave. I started off as a striker, so I was banging in goals left, right, centre when I was young and then I moved back a bit to a CDM position and then I went centre back for a bit and then I just ended up as a right back. When you were banging in the goals, who was it for? Um, my local team called White Nats, so just a team I played for when I was young. My parents. <laughs> Because? Um, because they always they support me, they're always there for me. Even when I'm down, they know how to bring me back up and just make sure I'm okay. I'd probably have to say my mum. Obviously that's quite a, probably a common answer, but my mum, she's definitely, she's always been there. She obviously came to my first, to my first session and to my most recent one. She's, I don't think she missed a game apart from obviously Covid. But yeah, she's, she's always been there for me, so. I would say... From a football point of view, uh, my coach Jason is kind of like, he's just been there from day, he's a good coach and he's helped me like, technically work on myself and from a family, like family wise, my mum and dad and sister, they've just always been there for me, always guided and supported me, so they've influenced me. I played a game for Eldon Celtic against um, Oxford United and then I just played good and then they asked me to play for them. So I joined Oxford when I was late eight, early nine. Mm -hmm. So I've been at the club quite a while now, yeah. It means a lot knowing that how the club started with a local, was it a local bishop? Or yeah, doctors near. Yeah, stuff like that. And it means a lot and I'm looking forward to it. It means a lot to me because it's a big club. Like it's known, Oxford is known for a lot of people, and to be here is a good opportunity to express myself and become a better player. Well, year year after year, I just I learned more about the club that I didn't think I like. I thought I knew everything about it, but after each year, it just shows that how much I actually care and like the respect they give me and I give to them. I think just carrying this badge, this badge means so much to me.